uh, from his safety line. Wow. Uh, in actual weather, we're tracking temperatures. Looking at the numbers right now, we're actually warmer on the thermometer. than we were all day yesterday, so that's a clue of what's ahead. We'll turn the 60s that we're seeing on the map already into the low 80s this afternoon, so that's quite a bounce. If you're planning, as you get out the door this morning, it may seem a little cloudy and overcast, but no worries, we'll get some sun breaks. Showers are possible, but they'll be few and far between, so they will not dominate the day. Look for sun breaks at a high of 82 this afternoon. All the rest of the act for the seven-day, coming up. Three months. <laughs> And we have just 60 for St. Albans. Everybody's warming up very quickly, though. This flow of air coming out of the south is going to boost our temperatures rapidly, getting everybody to the above average or above normal uh, category. Normal for this time of year, by the way, is uh, 72 degrees. Yes, uh, if you're heading out with the dogs on this big dog Sunday, we've got a forecast for you. Fogs and clouds early. Some sun breaks coming in later in the afternoon, and that's when our temperatures should get their warmest in the low 80s. Now, the air that's coming up from the south is warm. It's also a little uh, drier than the air that we've had in place. Some of the computer models are popping up a shower or two here, but I think that they'll hold off. There's just too much dry air moving in uh, to see an early shower, so we'll see how that works out. Um, also, throughout the week, the rain risk is actually the highest on Tuesday with thunderstorms uh, expected and temperatures are cooler that day as well. All right, here's the future cast. This is what I'm talking about. Early on, they're painting the picture here on the computer models that we could get some instability and pop up a shower or two. But right now, it's not developing and it's not on the map yet. So I think we could pass that time period with enough dry air to skip over those, which means going to the afternoon, the amount of sunshine that we get really determines if we get more storms later on this afternoon. So a risk, keep an eye to the sky if you have outdoor plans. For a Monday, much drier, looking very good on Monday. Tuesday, clouds increase. We have a front coming through, and that'll take the temperatures down and also bring some more rain down. That looks like the wettest day of the week. And then late in the week, Thursday and Friday, look like really beautiful, delightful seasonal days. So a scattered storm this afternoon with 82. Tonight, we go down to 60. A few clouds, but very mild overnight, allows our temperatures to bounce back really quickly. And so we get to 78 on uh, Monday. By Tuesday, that's the day we're looking at the cooler temperatures, above average for the rest of the week. So the AccuWeather seven-day forecast gives us that uh, stray storm. Next weekend, so keep an eye on that. But uh, look, we're challenging this part of the weekend. Don't be discouraged by the clouds that you see outside right now. I'm going to get some sun breaks. It's going to feel a lot more comfortable. I need to go on to the Harlow heat-up thing uh, this afternoon. I need some weather. So my eyes, mm -hmm. my catfish. I need to make something to do with it. I'm going to stop you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 What you're doing now. I remember the Harlow heat-up. And I think it's fine. Okay. Coming up next in this board, yeah warmer than we were yesterday at the same time. So already an indication that we've got a beautiful warm-up in front of us that will dry things out and take our temperatures to well above normal. So recovery uh, for some comfort around here. Uh, what about showers today? It's a possibility that some of the instability left over could spark a scattered shower or a thunderstorm. But it does not look like it's going to be a total washout. Looking at the week ahead, Tuesday is the best chance for rain around here. Thursday and Friday are the drier days. Coming up in the Acura, the seven-day forecast, we'll take a look at the numbers, how warm it gets, and if we have any other cool days coming up. Rob? All right, Amy, I'll take it. Uh, uh, and as the weather changes, we have you covered. Uh, yeah.